to air was too much in favour of fuel. Okay, chaps, that was a good demonstration. Oh, we seem to be quite quiet. Yes, yeah, it's a good place to do it. Okay, I'm going to relight. Ready? We relit. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Now we want to go left again. Well, that's a really good little trick. I don't know what they're doing. What's that? That like looks to me like a spark. We could do without that. There's a car coming up on your axle. It bloody is a spark. I want to move over. Right, okay, after. Without that. That's extremely dangerous because that could set fire to anything. Any loose, any loose fuel. We're getting to pub country. <laughs> Pubs are very far and few in Scotland. Okay, here's again fog. Water pressure, water temperature is coming up. So, what attracted you to a steam car then? Well, it it was uh, the interest in uh, steam. I, I've uh, been in a steamer before, and um, the whole idea appealed to me at the time. And um, when I had the chance. I got one. Why are you making the journey? We're breaking the record of um, Hubert Wingfield Egerton and his driver Perkins. They created this record in 1901 in December and it was the last time a steam car has done lands into John O'Groats. So this is the first time in uh, over a hundred years it's been attempted. And so far we've beaten the record very well indeed. <laughs> Whether we continue to do so is another matter. But so, but so far it's all looking very good. You still feeling confident? Yes, oh, I think we're doing very well. We should be at our B&B stop before tea time. Four fifty on the clock. Oh, it's really, really going beautifully. What's the history of the car? Well, I, I've um, only know the last owner, who was Carl Amesley, and the chap who had it before. Carl Amesley totally restored the car, uh, and but got it in quite good condition from the previous owner, who never got the car to go. He never got the car going. He was. Uh, uh, a jewellery uh, in, in the jewellery business in the States and, rest used, and restored the car during the winter months when the business was quite quiet 
and then he sold it to Carl Ainsley, and I bought it from him. Kinross, right? Okay. But when I first had it, because we knew nothing about steam, and I had to learn uh, clear them out of the hard way, because if you bought the car from the works, you'd never discover the sort of things that can go wrong with them. When I bought this car, it was going, everything was fine. Now, where are we turning now, left or right? Turn right. Okay. About two years. Uh, we looked at, um, there were quite a number of cars in this country for restoration we looked at. Uh, we looked at a couple of cars that were going and then realized that they were far cheaper if you bought them in America um, because uh, there's a very strong club in America and uh, we got one uh, at a very reasonable price uh, in the States, brought it over and, and um, never looked back. But I've had to have a new boiler made, of course. I had a new boiler, a uh, replacement superheater, replaced the uh, evaporator coil, uh, had the engine completely overhauled, um, and it's the car, mechanically, is virtually brand new. Marvellous. Marvellous. Are we on track at the moment? Certainly are. We've done 248.4 miles. What? How many today, would you say? Well, over a hundred miles. Um, what we're doing is the uh, Land's End to John O'Gaunt uh, record-breaking run right. in a steam car uh -huh. that was last achieved in 1901, the last gen. It's the, it's, the, it's the first time in a hundred years. Did you, did you get that? Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, we don't see many of these on the road, so... Well, have a safe journey then. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry? Did you take some more shots with it? I mean, you never get this again. You should say, are you actually legal? Have you a driving licence? Do you have a boiler well, test? Do you have a boiler test? Yeah. We normally have MOT certificates, but I'm sure if it has a boiler test. Do you have, do you have your driving documents with yes, you? Yes, we do, we do. <laughs> And it's also the boiler, it has an annual boiler inspection. Yes, okay, um, so it's just like a steam locomotive then. Exactly, in that case. exactly. Th thank you. It's exactly. Goodness me. I really <laughs> should go and get the traffic for this one because I don't think they'll ever have stopped a steam car before. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but thank you for your help with that. No, thank you. No, no. Thank you for the enlightenment. No, <laughs> Cheers. If you listen to this, you'll see this is the delight. We're just going to. It works on a regulator. I, I, I notice. I notice you. You, you you didn't give way at the mini roundabout coming through Kinross either. Well, uh, is I that because to. the brakes aren't no, no, desperately? No, I, I was actually listening to my, my instructor at the back seat, actually. <laughs> but my friend here did apologise. Yes, yeah, yeah, he did apologise. Uh, yes, yes, won yes, wonderful. Now, if you listen to that, I'll show you what happens. She just eases. I just I just move the regulator, and she'll slowly. That, that's it. Isn't that fantastic? Safe journey. Jerryo. I mean, he was a nice, friendly chap. Because I know it's illegal to have a flashing red light at the back, and I thought he was going to tell me to take it off, which, of course, I would have done. Um, but, and I'm surprised he, it's bad luck it noticed us um, not giving away at the traffic light. But it's very decent of him not to... Uh, I mean, uh, a more uh, or less cooperative policeman would obviously would have... Uh, he'd probably been docked some points or something you know, for not giving away at the traffic light. To tell you the truth, I think he just wanted to have a look at it. Oh, I think he did, yes. Oh, yes, he did. Well, that's all right. For the first time you've been stopped at a place? In this car, yes, yes. 
Well, no, it's not. We were, we, no, you tell the story, lover. We were chased by a, a police helicopter. You won't believe this. We were chased by a police helicopter. They thought we were a getaway car. That is true. Popped out. Is the pilot on? Ah, and this came out again. Did you take all this? This is what. Okay, I didn't take all this. Including the fourth bridge in this. Wonderful, thank you. That should have been a fine shot, shouldn't it? This must be the first Stanley steamer ever to cross this bridge. Historic moment. It is. That's an experience. Fourth bridge in a Stanley steamer. Fantastic. A bit of momentary excitement just approaching the bridge. We had a, a blow up burnout. <laughs> so when we reel it, <coughs> it blew the pilot light out, and the fuel going in, of course, wasn't lit. Hence all the uh, uh, paraffin fumes in the cockpit. <coughs> but we quickly stopped and then uh, relit. It only took a moment. Straight on. Yeah. Oh, that's his camera.
OK, far off. OK, to move out. Yeah, Nobody behind. Nobody behind. Nobody behind. Right, OK. Unhook. Right. Just look behind. It's behind, lovey. You're going the wrong way. I'll just, just keep, to, so I can't see by. Yeah, should I stop? Yeah. Okay. I'm very relieved to arrive. <laughs> 300 miles, fantastic, from John O'Groats. Car going beautifully. Now, would you buy one after your experiences? Oh, certainly, yes. That's right. <laughs> Happy boiler then? Yes, and and that was nicely free of oil. I'm quite pleased to see that. But I think it probably means we need more boiler water treatment because normally I don't get this emulsion. It all comes out as a r red colour. Do you remember we saw the red colour? And look at that. That's really an, a really nice oily emulsion. I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Yes, that's right. Exactly. Yes. Oh yes, yes. Maxwell plug uh, came loose. Temperature of pilot light. Pilot light varied. Resolved by pricking jet, pr pricking Maxwell jet. That's it. There, I surrender. <laughs> well, the car's been climbing absolutely wonderfully, and it completely vindicates, uh, you know, this long-held view that uh, steam cars are undoubtedly the car of the future. <laughs> Take That's this, it. Uh, We've got all these signs from John O'Groats uh, all the way down, and we were going to put photographs here, that was the plan, and then we've got these signs so far, we're going to put photographs there, so we're asking, could you sign that one, please, with, with your... This is my completion one here. Is that all? Is oh, that yes, okay? yes, yeah. yes, yeah, I see what you mean, yes, yes, yeah, absolutely, thank you. What are we on top? Wonderful. We've made it. Yes, congratulations. <laughs> John O. Groats to Land 
Stevens End, Stanley Steamer. Bring the car in. You got the car? Yes, we have. Yeah. Car in in this area. Almost 900 miles of steaming in a Stanley steam car just totally proves the. Oh, it's down, it's down here, isn't it? That it's the absolutely the ideal touring car for effortless cruising, complete silence. This is the best angle I'm on now, but I can, can't quite read long ships. Yeah. Well, I can just do it from here with the front. We just yes, 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 that's right. We've got fill in flash to get rid of the yes, shadow, yes, 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 and yes. we're just in. We're just barely yeah, in. That's a beautiful photograph. So, so, what would you like on the signpost? Stanley steam cars forever. <laughs> Careful. There'll be no pop in this one, I can tell you. I'm going to get the thing out very slowly. I prefer to drink the bubbles rather than spray them about. Yay. I've got it, I've got it. It's the magic control of pressure. It is, it is. You can't afford to lose pressure. I've got it, I've got it. There we are. Dirty. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I think one of the magic moments was hearing the pilot light hiss at John O'Groats and you could hear the curlews coming off the ground as well. That was absolutely right, magical. Right, right, right. Yeah, the pilot light combined with curlews. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good mixture. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, some of those parts of Scotland, when we knew that we could yes. actually do the hills. Yes, that's right, that's right, yes, yes. We, we had a minor conflagration uh, on the Foss and we stopped, quietly minding our own uh, business, we put the conflagration out and I was smoking my pipe quietly and I heard a fire engine going off in the distance. I thought, oh, that's strange, there must be a fire somewhere. And they pulled up behind here, they all leapt out, where's the fire, where's the fire? Then another fire engine came out behind the first fire engine. Then finally we were followed by the chief fire officer in the front with his full uniform, raced over and said, where's, where's the fire? And we said, for goodness sake, we don't put the fire out. <laughs> And what, had, what, had, what had happened was that somebody had been passing by, they'd seen a bit of a flame from the car and had very kindly reported it. The firemen were very So we apologised to the fire brigade and said we were very sorry to cause them. They, they were very pleased to come out. <laughs> well, we're very pleased with the car. It's gone extremely well and completely vindicates you know, the, the views taken by people in the past about steam. There's no doubt it's a superior means of transport. There's no question about that. It's much smoother, quieter, less complicated, more comfortable than the, uh, uh, you know, the internal explosion car, which is currently in use. We recommend it. Do you think it has a future then? <laughs> this is the car of the future. This is the future. It's more ecologically friendly. It doesn't use up the world's resources. It's in every way to be recommended. Here's to the Stanley steam car. <laughs> Oh, that looks really good. Right, okay, look at the camera, big smile. Where's the button on this? That's it. Okay, look at the camera, big smile. That's it. Mm -hmm.